bit of a black eye. I thought my nose was more broken yesterday, but it seems all right. It might just be swollen. I'm trying to find both, you know, sled and ski features. Buddy, nice one. It'd be cool if you could hit that on a sled, too. nose. Bit of a black eye. Landed a bit tail heavy, so you can imagine coming down with your sled tail heavy. Tail hits so the come front comes down and you, you tend to want to whip forward and he, uh, he took the he took the padded bar to the goggles and uh, yeah, gave himself a little black eye and bleeding nose. Seems all right. Might just be swollen. 
out ever. First time I've hit my face on my handlebars ever. Also, I think my first black eye ever. Beauty day. First jump of the day. Some blower pow, almost too blower. If that's a thing. <laughs> Dad can. Oh, it's good. It's nice having angles all the time. But I gotta give him my phone because it does better quality. Yeah, the old iPhone 3 doesn't really cut it. <laughs> 4K. 4K. Nice. You know, it's just a good excuse to uh, spend time in the mountains with my kids, so yeah, I've been loving it. You know, sometimes when you're just out here with the boys, it can get a little loose and hectic, but uh, it keeps, keeps everything in check, and you know, obviously doesn't want to see his son get hurt, so. Yeah, it's, it's entertaining to watch, for sure. A little nervous for dad at times, but uh, you know, like I've always said, he'd do it whether I'm here or not, so I'd rather be here for a little bit of support and uh, safety as well, so it works out pretty good. Oh, f that's gonna f your sled. this season because I'm trying to find both you know sled and ski features and uh yeah I mean even just switching between my sled boots and my ski boots takes like you know takes like 15 20 minutes I gotta put my ski boots on and there's only one way this is what I have to do Every morning when I put my ski boots on, they're just like frozen solid and they're super stiff like race boots, so I gotta warm them up with the sled. When you're on the top of these lines, you can't see anything. It's just a blind roll. You just have to remember what you saw from below and make sure you're skiing the right line or else you can get, you can get messed up.
be here today with Logan. Um, on this project, I'm gonna be flying a small little race drone, slightly bigger than the normal ones, I'd say. Chasing Logan downhill uh, while he's skiing or snowmobiling is pretty, it's pretty wild. I'm just there right behind him, maybe 10 feet up of him or something like that, up his back. Film a lot of snow building and a lot of snowboarding, a little bit of skiing too. But somebody that does it both, I don't think it's been done and it's pretty cool to see. Logan's a bit of a backcountry weapon, I would say. You know, he's incredibly talented on both his snowmobile and his skis. He's got a really, really good eye for terrain and the, uh, yeah, insane skier and really good on his snowmobile. Coming in this morning, it's like raining in the valley. My dad and I were like, I don't know, I might have to call it in the parking lot. I don't think it's even gonna be worth it. Look at it now. I guess you always gotta go. Jeez, pulls. We're thinking about a two minute warning here so we can start buckling up and warming up. How many minutes? Uh, two, two minutes. Dropping in three, two, one, drop. <laughs> Might as well send it, eh? Fucking big, man. Everybody's pretty stoked on that. Big air. <laughs> Kids these days, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 